So this video is about making the dome for this structure that I call the bird cage. Uh, I'm not going to cover making the birds and the accessories in the in the structure or the filial. I'm really just going to cover the design and build of the dome. Um, I omitted the CNC part because I'm not seeing a lot of interest in CNC in the segmenting world. So if you are interested in uh, seeing how a CNC is used to make these kind of segments, let me know and I'll make a video of it in the future. Thanks. So this was the design for the dome. And it starts, I did it on paper because I wanted some thicker rings and then going thinner up top to save wood. Everything outside of that shape, so everything in the corners of the triangles gets turned off. So that's all waste. And by going thinner, I can save some wood. So the design starts by drawing the shape you want. In my case, I want a dome that's 12 inches in diameter and about three and a half to four inches tall uh, and gently sloping into a dome. Um, the first rings can be my full height. In my case, I had some one inch wenge, so I made one inch rings. And you just draw the lines where it intersects. And then this is your OD uh, for your segments. So in this case, it's root. For the first row is 12 inches, the second row drops down to 11 and 5 eighths, the third row 9 and 7 eighths, and so on. Uh, and it gets smaller as you go. I did make this top ring a little bit thicker uh, than it had to be because I uh, I planned to drill a hole in the middle and put a filial in it. And I wanted a little more thickness for the filial to have uh, surface area for gluing. So that's the design, the basic uh, of design. And once I have the OD, I can calculate the segment length. In my case, I'm doing 24 segments. So the segment length, I, you know, was calculated right there. Well, I put the segments together and I can see some light through. Uh, so I need a slightly different angle uh, to Get this thing to close up. I do want a hole in the middle. I'm going to drill a bigger hole uh, when I'm done, but I need to try to make a correcting cut or two to try to get this to close up. Well, I ultimately cut six new pieces, <clears throat> six new uh, segments, and now I've got it to the point where I can't see any light through it, so it's a good fit. So that's ready to glue up. Uh, this is the 3 8 board. So I have the Wedgie sled set for 24 segments, the stop block set for my 1.07 segment length that I want. And I'll just show cutting a few segments. <laughs> segments are all cut for the next sec the next ring down, which is the 3/8 inch diameter uh, 8 inch. OD 3 8 inch width 8 inch OD I have one extra segment I have flipped each segment this this pattern it won't be there when it gets turned this is the rough cut side so we'll tighten it up and see if it fits hopefully it does That's a good fit, ready for glue up. So I have all five rings made up uh, to make the dome lid. Uh, it's gonna be about three and a half to four inches tall, but it's going on to a 12 inch vessel, so it'll still look good. The next step is I need to flatten these. I'm gonna use my drum sander. So the top is now flat on both sides and the other rings I will actually sand it to the desired thickness. Um, the top I'm going to leave a little fat because I want the strength. The 
process of putting this together, I need a 5 8 inch hole in this, which may or may not be the hole I use for the fill wheel. But I'm going to put it in the middle. So this is the face plate I'm going to glue the top ring to and I'm going to put a 5 8 hole just slightly into this wood just uh, to help with alignment when I um, place the ring. That's deep enough. So I'm just going to use that hole to visually align and get this thing centered for glue up. For clamps I'm just going to use some weights and that way I can still see the hole. So I have all the rings flattened now and I this has dried for over a half hour. I took and put it, put it on the lathe and put a sanding board on it. And at least got all the outer part flat that's going to glue up. So I am ready to glue this up and I'm going to switch over to show the stomper. <clears throat> so the 5 8 inch hole is perfect fit onto that uh, threaded part. The next ring will go on here, which centers it up. Then I do that, and then I'll drop the weights on for the clamp. Ready for glue up. Next ring. Final ring. Okay, the dome is put together. It's time to start turning. Uh, I'm going to start out with a bowl gouge. The outside is taking shape. I did switch to a one inch round nose scraper, which is one of my favorite tools. I was getting a better finish on it. Um, so this is round. It's not completely done. There's still a couple seams showing. I gotta get a little more down. But I'm gonna switch to the inside and turn it and see how much wall thickness I have. So I have turned a bunch on the inside. Um, it's round, it's not a finished surface, but it's going to be inside and never going to be seen. So I'm really saving the wall thickness for turning more on the outside. Um, what I was really trying to do is make it round and reduce the weight. So this isn't glued on yet, but uh, I've got it and it's a good fit. Diameter of this and the base is about the same. Um, there's plenty of wall thickness there to make them be the same. And the top is largely done except for where I've got to taper this uh, after I get the face plate off. Um, so I'm going to glue it on. I won't show that, but uh, that's the dome that's ready to go. I have the vessel done. All the way up to this point and I've got it sanded all I really need to do now is cut this off and I'm going to try cutting it off at a slight angle at this point I do have the face plate cut off and in order to 
finish the turning here, I'm going to bring this in and support in that 5 8 hole that I had drilled. So I am going to try to turn now and I'm going to try to taper this down. I'm still going to try to keep most of the material in this area. Um, I can even sand that down if I have to at the end. But I'm going to try to taper this into that. Um, I'm going to start with a bowl gouge. So I turned it down and used a negative rake scraper. Um, there is a definite contour I left here, uh, which I think still looks good, but I was a little thin on wall thickness right there, so I'm afraid to go too, too aggressive. So I'm going with that. I'm going to sand it and put some finish on it, so, but the dome is done. <laughs> 